Hello friends, in this video we will learn about hybridoma technology. Hybridoma technology is used for the production of large number of monoclonal antibodies against a particular antigen. Basically, these monoclonal antibodies are produced by white blood cells which are also called as the plasma cells. Whenever an antigen enters in a body, the B cell or B lymphocytes get activated by it and it is converted into plasma cell and finally these plasma cells secrete antibodies against that particular antigen. These plasma cells can be cultured in the artificial media but the biggest problem is that the lifespan of the plasma cells is very short. It is from few weeks to few months and that's why we cannot produce antibodies for a long time by culturing them in an artificial medium. In hybridoma technology, this problem of short lifespan of plasma cells is overcome by fusing the B lymphocytes with cancerous cells called the myeloma cells. The result is that the artificially immortalized B lymphocytes can grow, multiply indefinitely and produce hybridoma cells which possess the growth and multiplying properties of cancerous cells and secretes antibodies as well. The production of monoclonal antibodies by the hybrid cells is called hybridoma technology. The very first step in the production of monoclonal antibodies is to immunize an animal with appropriate antigen subcutaneously. Injections at multiple sites enable increased stimulation of B lymphocytes for that specific antigen. The animal is then sacrificed, spleen is removed and the lymphocytes are separated from other cells by density gradient centrifugation. The second step is cell fusion. The lymphocytes are mixed with HGPRT defective myeloma cells. These HGPRT defective cells cannot synthesize nucleotides as they lack the genes for the enzyme hyposanthin guanine phosphoribosyl transferase. Cell fusion is facilitated by a chemical fusogen called polyethylene glycol. The products will be of five types of cells, unfused B cells, fused B cells, unfused myeloma cells, fused myeloma cells and the hybridoma cells formed by the fusion of activated B cells and myeloma cells. The next step is the selection of hybridoma cells from the mixture of cells by using HAT medium. H stands for hypoxanthin, A for aminopterin and T for thymidin. Selection is based on the fact that aminopterin blocks the de novo pathway of DNA synthesis. Whereas, HGPRT enzyme is the key enzyme in salvage pathway to synthesize DNA. So, in HAT medium, the cells with non-functional HGPRT gene will die. In HAT medium, fused and unfused B cells die because of their short lifespan. Fused and unfused myeloma cells die as aminopterin blocks de novo pathway and HGPRT negative myeloma cells cannot synthesize nucleotides too. The hybridoma cells alone can survive as they can synthesize nucleotides by salvage pathway which is attributed to the active HGPRT gene of the B cells and they can divide immortally and secrete antibodies which are attributed to the characteristic features of a myeloma cell. The hybridomas are then isolated and produced in a larger scale for commercial applications. To sum up, monoclonal antibodies are antibodies which are specific for a single antigenic determinant. The technology which is involved in the production of monoclonal antibodies is called hybridoma technology. Hybridoma technology involves immunization of animal, isolation of B lymphocytes, fusion of lymphocytes and myeloma cells, selection of hybridoma cells by using HAT medium 
and large scale production of monoclonal antibodies. Thank you.